That's so cool that you can be put in Parsons and switch your character. That's so dope. John just woke up. I love JK. Yeah, Brood, he just got admitted into a rehab facility for three days. Well, there might be someone waiting to get... There might be waiting for someone for you to get first in queue. You think someone... There's no way there's an FTO who is literally sitting there going like, Oh, I want to get Chris. I don't think my character is that great where people want that. Finally put on... Finally put out the video on my home bar. Gotta get you over one day for a drink. Oh, hell yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it, Chris. I still have your bottle I need to give you. My cop character, by the way. <laughs> I've had so much fun RPing the last few days. I've had so much fun. Like, every, every time I start, like, thinking about how to, like, chase a W... I try to just have like a mental reset and be like, no, create a good story. I've had so much fun. So much fun. It's been such a good time. Families RP so been, been so good these last few days? I think so too. It's a shame. A lot of people probably won't see it because we didn't have, or I, I didn't stay consistent with no pixel, and so a lot of people probably aren't gonna give me a chance or watch the streams who watch no pixel, who really enjoy good roleplay, just because uh, I didn't set that foundation the same way that like a Buddha or a Mickey or a XQC or a Saikuno have, but. You know, to the people that do show up and do come through, I really hope they enjoy the RP. I really hope. You know. I really hope that's the case. I love I love doing the cool story stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm down to do heist progression and all the hype shit, but... I think the stories have been really, really fun. Even though sometimes going with the flow of RP is weird, like... Obviously, one thing that you don't want to touch on is like self-harm and no pixel because like literally the NVL rule prevents that but like I don't know sometimes when you're role playing it's like fuck like if I very intentionally st steer away from this thing where it's obviously headed then it just feels weird and it ruins the immersion but you know just a, as a heads up to anyone who got weird vibes earlier about the RP I apologize it was not intentional you know, if you struggle with thoughts like that, again, I'm really fucking sorry. It's just that's kind of how the vibe went, and I didn't mean for it to go there. Which is why I tried to... I tried to stop it sooner than later. So... I think our rule is that you can't, like, jump from a roof on purpose. Yeah, no, and I didn't for that reason. It was meant to be more, like... You can touch on it, just not act on it. Okay. Then that's... Alright, I guess I don't feel as bad about that. But yeah, no, I, um... I definitely touched on it, and I didn't mean for it to go there. I, I, like, I did not mean for it to go there at all. So, like, again, to anyone who may be watching who is awake right now, I'm really sorry if that upset you, because that was not the goal at all. I meant for Jay to be, like, you know, Reggie came up to Jay and started talking a whole bunch of shit about how he was worthless and how he should take drugs to feel better. And I feel like when someone's really high, especially on meth, they'd be really impressionable. And it's obvious that Jay has a drug problem. Like, he, it's not like a problem problem where he seeks it out and he's scratching his neck like a crazy person. But, like, he doesn't really turn it down and when he does it, he just kind of does shit. And not, and not in, like, a shitlordy way either. And so, when someone comes up to somebody and starts saying insecure, like, stuff to make you feel insecure, it made sense in the RP for Jay to go with that. And so, when I did that phone call to Kitty, it was meant to sound depressing, but it wasn't meant to go as dark as it might have come off to some people. So, again, I'm sorry uh, if it bothered anybody, but it made sense for the flow of the conversation to go that way. 
Oh, well, pure poison. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. They will if they like RP. They'll come. Don't worry. <laughs> well, you know. I'm not too upset about viewership. I say not too upset. Cause I'm a little. But it's my own fault. Didn't stream for like... What was it? A month and a half? That's what you get. Nobody can just quit their job for a month and a half and expect a paycheck when they get back, you know? But, you know, working on the regular YouTube content. We did stuff earlier in this stream with the, you know, you get flashbanged in game, you get flashbanged in real life Arduino stuff. And that was really cool. So, we're working on it. A serious bit of RP, then a bit of SBS RP. Yeah, I like SBS RP. I like, I like the serious stuff too, though. Serious RP is good. Come on. I've always been more a fan of uh, real stuff in real life and in RP. But I am always down for a Mario Party bank heist. Chris, are you still alive? Go to sleep. I woke up and you're still alive. Sorry, what did you say? You're not grateful that I'm still awake? So this is the thanks I get for working overtime. That's crazy. <laughs> You're welcome, right now. So this is the thanks I get for working overtime. Chris on that Tyler one two hundred hours a month contract. Yo. Uh, hi. I know you can hear, man, still. Um, uh, hey, my man, my man, my man. Uh, I beg you help me with something, please, bro. Uh, 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 you, you got a spare lockpick for me, my dog? Um, um, I... A spare lockpick. Oh, I don't have one, sorry. That, that's why I rode my bike here. Okay. Do you please, ma'am, buy this have a spare lockpick? That would oh, be God. amazing. Is this a grinder? Mm, uh, how much? Hey! Oh. For me! A, what? a little discount, a little discount, a little discount. A, I don't a little know. discount, 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 discount. Um. Yeah, but come on, come on. I like, I like, I like 50, I like 50. We're going to get bare you bread like from this. 50. I like 50, I like 50. A light 50, like a mm. little $50. I mean... No. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah. You. Come on, come on. Hey, your hair looks great today, by the way. It's fantastic. As slow as I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma'am. Is that is that Mac lipstick as well? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's her. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Oh, not are you there? 75, 75, 75. You're the the cadet. No. Oh. Um. The police. Hundred, hundred, right? Hundred, hundred and then that's, that's it. Me. We can be on our way. Hi. Yeah, it's nice seeing you again. How are you doing? Have you gotten better at standing up for yourself? Uh, uh, probably not, but. Probably um, not, but I mean, you're trying. You're trying, though, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt, ma'am. So yeah, he's doing his best. Sorry to interrupt, ma'am. Do you by any chance have a yeah, spare lock? Have that I one. could uh, borrow if you don't mind. Ah, uh, no. Oh, thank uh, you so much. Broken. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's um, all good. Um, you see, ma'am, what's it? What's delivery. it? Oh, she's dipped already. I'm sorry. What was your that? love for that oh, one, by the way? Just... Love, yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Reggie. What's your name? What was that though? What were you oh, saying? Just I good, love good luck on your delivery. Stay safe. Oh, th thank you. Good luck finding a partner and, you know, get better at standing up for yourself. Oh, okay. Always keep trying. Are you, wait, are you still going to try to be a police officer? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting for an NFTO session. Hell yeah. Well, good luck. Maybe you can arrest me in the future. Th oh, um, I, I, okay. Um, Bye. stay safe.
Um, did you just lockpick that, sir? No, that's my whip. That's my whip. Why? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. You good, though? Oh, I I'm okay. Thank you. Alright. Say nothing, bro. Say nothing. Oh, oh okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. You know what I'm gonna do as well? <laughs> Chris, have a good stream. Bye, Amara. Have a good day at work. Appreciate you. Is this reasonable suspicion? No, because I didn't witness him doing the crime because I wasn't paying attention. You feel me? Oh, I should probably I, I should probably just take the six hundred dollars from doing this alone. Kachow would Kachow would be too shy to ask someone anyways. Did you steal that? No, okay. I mean, to be honest, that's how it would go. That's how it would go in a... No. In a court of law. If I, if I can't... Unless I lied and told him... Can I not lock this? Is this not my bike? Don't tell me I grabbed the wrong fucking bike. Oh my god. Oh my god. They were right fucking next to each other, man. Hey, what up, man? Oh, uh, hello. Hello, hello. You having a great day? Oh, uh, uh, it's okay. Oh. Sounds good, man. You know. Uh, how about you? Ah, you know, just woke up after a long day of on the uh, out of out of town job. Oh, <laughs> well, I I hope it went well. Oh, I have to move did, my did. car. I'm so sorry. Um, stay it's safe. all good, my man. So sorry, moving it. Time to turn yourself in. No, my my fault. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, this is Kachow. This is my cop character. Uh, very different from JK. Um, I have a, I've been having a lot of fun playing him lately. Um, if you want context, he is very shy. He is very afraid. Um, but he is very influenceable. Um, but he has slowly been developing his sense of justice. Um, he's very slowly been... F like uh, standing up for what is right um, albeit it has definitely taken people to like tell him what is right rather than him feeling it for himself but so when's the date with Maggie oh yeah so he actually weirdly enough kind of has someone he's dating but it's pretty awkward it's uh it's never <laughs> it's never really smooth dates but there's a waitress at Maldini's that he's really uh, nice to, and that's nice to him. And so sometimes they've gone on two dates so far. Not really. The first one was a date. But the second one was kind of a uh, second. First one was a date. Second one was kind of just he brought her flowers after he was done with his FTO session. Just to say, like, he hoped she had a good day. Um, but he's he is really shy, and he's very easily bullied. Um... But again, the one thing that's interesting about him is that uh, if someone tells him what to do, especially if it's someone who's like a boss or in a position of power, uh, he listens uh, almost to a T. So if a cop basically tells Kachow to go for the W, he will do everything he can to go for the W. Um, even if the criminal were to say try to influence his decisions otherwise. Not that there isn't any room for that, but um, he is very shy and he does struggle with uh, basic shit. But he recently has decided that he does want to get uh, a car because when he showed up to the date with Maggie, uh, he showed up in a bicycle helmet and a BMX. 
and she showed up in a customized Ellie with a turbo and transmission. So he felt a little awkward because she drove him around. And so he's kind of uh, decided, like, you know, he either wants to get a CVPI for himself or if he doesn't make it as a police officer, he at least wants to, um, you know, he at least wants to be able to, you know, take her out and, and feel a little bit more confident in himself. JK going back to the route truck delivery. Yeah, this is Kachow, bro. This is not JK, but yes, it would appear I have a trend. All of my new characters are truck delivery guys. But to be honest, this is the same path that all new characters take. Title? All oh, right, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me change that. All new characters always take this path. It's always Siren is back. I, I've heard. I heard she's back. All new characters usually start off grinding a little bit, make some money, and then they kind of decide from there what they want to do. I hear you. Except for Jay. Yeah, I mean, a lot of what I said was in character, but, you know, I kind of mean it out of character too a little bit, which is that, like, I do believe that if you really want to enjoy the city to its fullest and its most beautiful form, right on. I think you need to... Um, oh. I think you need to struggle. I think you need to understand that money doesn't come super easy. I think you have to be down bad. I think you have to be okay being down bad. And then I think you have to slowly figure out how to be up good. Jay is speedrunning. And, you know, I mean, it's going to happen, right? Like, in the same way that Leslie will never have experienced the server the way I did, right? Don't get me wrong. Leslie has a great character, and she's not speed ran things, right? But, like, Leslie never played to have a serious story arc with her character. And I know for a fact that my experience, I would say, has been probably more powerful than hers. Because, like, JK really fucking struggled to get shit. To get his crew, you know? He was alone for a while. He hopped between groups. To, in, in, when he wanted to start getting into hacking, it took him a month to find the character that would meta unlock that. When he f wanted to find a driver, it took him weeks to get to wait to be introduced by someone else to a driver that he would eventually become goofy. And, uh, you know, obviously there was a little bit of minus wanting, but, you know, even getting May to be a part of his group and, and having that be a possible option. Like, um, I don't mean to compare storylines, but like, you know, I, I know that these other people have not had the same experience. Oh, and no pixel that I or my character has, or at least my main character. And the reason it happened, the reason it was so good is because there was a lot of struggle. There was so much struggle. If anyone ever watched JK from the beginning, the amount of times he went to jail, the amount of times he failed personally, the amount of times he drove bad, the amount of times he would barely get in a job or he got screwed out of things, all of that, all of that was really, really good. It helped build the story. And he's not so down bad anymore, and he knows his way around the city, and there's still more to do. I have the OOC mauled at one point. Oh yeah, I've OOC mauled it. <laughs> We've gone through the whole thing in character and out of character. But I'll be real with you. I don't think you'll ever see me OOC mauled ever again. Um, I understand that sometimes situations are handled poorly. But I feel like the only time you ever OOC mauled is if you really care about the W, right? Because I think if, I think if you're a real cop, if you're a real role player and you're playing cop and you know that you went really hard in a situation and the crim doesn't mold at all, I think objectively you'll be able to look back at that role play and be like, damn, like why the fuck did I pit him there? That situation was not fun for them. 
They didn't have a good time. <laughs> Grinders. That RP was not fun for them. That situation could have gone better. We could have let the chase go longer. Like, I see how I fucking sucked there. And I was way too W. And so that's my, like, perspective, or at least that's what my attempted perspective is now. To not have the W in mind. To still try and get it within role pay means, but like, oh, OC, I think if I find myself wanting the W, I need to start questioning why I'm playing again. Does this character have any hidden talents he's been shy to express? Uh, Kachow? Guess you'll figure that out if you watch the character. Did you do the ramen? <laughs> I gave it to her. Well, well, she's, well, she's the one that needs it. Yeah, find out an RP. Thank you. I do really like his fuzzy collar. Thank you. There's uh, real thoughts for. I see you. I see you. Was that your Anderson. last job, my friend? Oh, n no. I, I was gonna try again. Okay, okay. Are you sure you want to do this alone? Um, n not you really. You should find somebody else. I um, don't really have any friends. Oh man! You don't need friends. You just need associates. Oh, um. Nah, everybody needs friends, man. I feel like asking someone would be kind of awkward. Nah, nah, nah. you know, in this, money in the city. Yeah, everybody around Twitter, like you see people saying, uh, like I can see somebody looking for two plus two sanitation right now, mm -hmm. and I mean everybody's looking for uh, other people to work with. So yep, it's, it's not awkward. It's you, just how you it is. You have a place in society, my friend. Oh, mm -hmm. um, well, um, I, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't want to make somebody feel weird. Nah, they won't. They won't. Everybody's, you know, different. And everybody's unique, so, you know, just be yourself and relax. Okay. Um. If, pe if people don't like you, you know, they will tell you. Th this city is kind of weird, not gonna lie. Every everybody is, you know, some, some is rude, some is polite. True. Uh, I've noticed. <laughs> You've noticed? Yeah. Um, How long have you been in the city, my friend? Um, about, um, I guess a month or so. A month or so? And you haven't met anybody that would be, uh, be friends with you? Um, well, a, a lot of my friends are working right now. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Damn. It, it's okay, though. I just... I need to make a little extra money so I can work my shift. Okay. Well, um, I hope you the best, my friend. And remember to um, to team up with anybody, you know, to make some extra cash. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, go, good luck on your guys' uh, delivery. Thank Stay you. Safe. You too, my man. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, you, you too. Fact, enjoy the way you've played. I'm interested to see what you do with your new character. Oh, thanks, Blind Clouds. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what Kachow does too. I think it'll be fun. Uh, the thing is, a part of me out of character wants to play a W Cop, go really hard on Crims, wait for um, Chain of Command to give me the go ahead to pit box and spike, and then just fucking do it. Uh, but obviously that's not the character. The character pretty much just waits to be told certain things, and then when it's, when Kachow is told to do something, he just, he will do his best to execute it. Obviously, within whatever skills I have. I think I'm actually pretty decent at, at doing parallels. Um, obviously sometimes you just guess wrong and you get fucked. But I'm pretty good at, I think, guessing where criminals are gonna go and setting up for... Spikes. Uh, being there to box in the correct place, figuring out when to go for spikes is going to be really hard, but I'll try my best. And so, I'm excited. 
I'm still trying to figure out how Kachow is RP for Chris. <laughs> Suck a dick right now. <laughs> What if you pit box and chase the W, but very peepo shy? Well, that's also part of the goal, to be super, super shy. Like, I go really ham in the in the pit, right? And I fucking NVL God someone at 120. But then after I pick them up off the ground and call for EMS to get them up, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, are you okay? And they're like, no, I'm not fucking okay. You just pit me going 120. Be like, oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean it. I was just... You're going really fast, and there were other people on the road, and then it just felt like a reckless endangerment and, and a gross disregard for human life. And they'll be like, what about my human life? I'll be like, I'm sorry, I just, you were going fast, and I feel like you didn't have to waste her to pull over. You know? Go as hard as Dundee, sound as soft as Kachow. Is the goal. Kind of. We'll see how it goes, though. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Call me Brandon. I think what I should do is this. I should try to sleep here very soon. Because then I can actually wake up and do a FTO stream on my second account. That way I can end this mainstream stream. Actually get some sleep. And if I sleep now, I will have... Enough time to do an FTO session. Split personality? Well, it's not going to be like a split personality. Um, but it's going to be... Uh, you know. Any catchphrases yet? Kachel? Oh snap, turns out Nutty's B-Day is near yours today, apparently. Oh shit. Nice. The name is the catchphrase? No, Kachow does not have any catchphrases. Whenever the- whenever someone says to- whenever someone tells Kachow to- to do the BCSO get some, he goes, Um... Have- have some of this. <laughs> so... I am sorry is kind of his catchphrase. I mean, he's just going to be apologetic to everything. That's what a shy person would do. Perhaps Maggie is around. Andrew, why do you want to see date RP, bro? <laughs> do you want to live vicariously through a character that I created? Through a character that she created? How's your immersion? <laughs> I brought a present for you, a tire repair kit. Don't, you can't tell me that wasn't funny. Um, the, I tried to go to the mega mall for flowers and they didn't have any. So, um, I got you a spare tire instead. You can't, you, you can't tell me that wasn't like cringe funny. Oh my God. Been doing that for the past few months. Oh no. Date RP or garlic farm RP? I mean, look, I'll be real with you. I don't think the role play where I'm sitting there watching her grind garlic to get a grade 10 garlic seed is very interesting. But, you know, I've done interviews before. I can turn it into an interesting podcast session. I can make Kachow ask Maggie about her previous sex life in a way that suits his character. You think I can't do it? Fucking watch me. Truck simulator? Raynell, I don't know if you were here when I first started playing JK, but you're basically looking at the humble me. beginnings. Besides, I'm also doing this because uh, Kachow is actually really close to getting a car. And I'll make the decision. Move a step forward, and then boom, there it is. Wait, and boom, there, there we go. I'll make a game time decision on whether it's going to be a CVPI or a regular car. Because if a Kachow gets a regular car, you know, then he can save money, he can buy some G&E, he can upgrade it, make it look good, all that shit. Yeah. 
Besides, I think if, uh, if Kachow actually dates someone who has crim knowledge, then he can actually do a lot to try and, uh, make his interactions more interesting. Okay, I think if I, s yeah, um, I think I'll turn in this truck delivery. I'll try to sleep now, get like five, six hours of sleep. Oh, Iconic Laura, thank you so much. Thanks for the seven months. Alerted mute. Oh, alerted mute. <laughs> thank you so much for the seven months, Laura. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. If Kava races, will he race with the speed limiter on? Uh, Kachao will never race. The way the RP of this character is going, I cannot see an example right now of why he would commit a crime. And, but I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe something comes up where he does commit a crime. But, uh, right now with his sense of justice developing and some of his FTOs being really, really nice to him and encouraging him about what he's doing is right. And, you know, kind of getting that like approval that he didn't really get from his parents. I can't see why he would go crim. I just don't see it. If only you know how much of a shipper I am. Oh, God. OTV and friends would hate you, Andrew. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. Everybody ships. It's just, you know, are you someone that keeps it inside or expresses it? Kari was so nice. Want to see my cadet? Yeah, that's funny. Nah, IRL shipping is weird. Oh yeah, I mean, IRL shipping is... Well, I mean, why do you think people watch The Bachelor and The Bachelorette? People do it. What was I gonna ask? Oh yeah, I was gonna say this. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to leave a follow. You know, I really appreciate it. Helps me out. I hope you enjoy watching the stream more in the future. Uh, I try to stream on this account at least once every two or three days. Um, we always do just chatting stuff, do an interesting topic, and then go into RP afterwards as of lately. And uh, just a reminder, if you're already following and you haven't done this yet, turn your follow notifications off and then back on again. Uh, unfortunately, when I took a month break from streaming... Um, Twitch actually messed up my go live notifications, and so a lot of people actually don't know when I went live. It's just kind of one of those things where I hope that people are like, oh, you know, I've seen Saikuno do this a lot. Let who else is online? Oh shit, Chris is live. Wait, Chris is live? Why didn't I know Chris is live? And I've heard that a lot. So, it sucks, but it is what it is. Just making the best of it. I got you, Sandra. One second. right now oh but here's the other thing since Ludwig is gone and he's can't say it anymore I'll say it for you guys if any of you have a prime gaming sub available please use it you don't have to use it on me and I mean that you don't have to use it on me but you should use it because every month or every day that you don't use it that is 17 cents a day that goes back to Jeff Bezos for no reason use it on any streamer any streamer I mean it you don't have to use it on me should you use it on me I mean yeah my emotes are pretty cute and I'm getting some new ones but you should use that prime gaming sub because every day that you don't use it the fucking richest person in the world, or almost richest person in the world, just saves more money, all right? And look, apparently Jeff Bezos does not treat his employees at Amazon that well, so you know what? I think, uh, I think if, uh, you know, you really wanted to give a little peepo finger to, uh, someone who doesn't pay the workers, who literally allow for next door delivery, very well. I think taking away some money from him is probably a good way to do it. So, 
Again, you don't have to use it on me, but I will gladly take them. But you should use it. Please, use it. Especially if it's a streamer you really like. Because I guarantee you, they will really, really appreciate it. That being said, Amozo, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I really appreciate it. I do. Thank you so much. It's your first time subbing. You're a big frog. And then Kelvy Poo, thank you so much for the three months. You did do it right. Welcome back for three months. Thank you. Would you believe I don't have a Prime account and thus no Prime sub badge? It's true. I believe you. I have a Prime account, or I had a Prime account, but it wouldn't let me sync my Amazon account to my Twitch account, and so I couldn't get the Prime sub. But I have it now. And I use my Prime sub almost on refresh. Last one I used on Amaranth. Because, you know, we're birthday twins, and she a homie. But, uh... The week, the month before that, I used it on Pokey, and then the month before that. Hi, Miss Vail. Hey. How are you? Oh, it's chat. It's Chow. It's it's fine. It's it's Chow. It works. It. Hi, Miss Vail. How are you doing? Hey, I'm fine. Did you see a shooting down here, Chow? No, but I heard one probably about ten minutes ago. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Oh, I didn't Checking see Checking all the drivers it. as they come back. All right, you're good to go, Chen. All Bye. Right. Be safe. Don't get shot. Like, yeah, likewise. <laughs> I think it's so fun running into officers while you're off duty. They're like, oh shit, it's an officer. I'm not going to die at this traffic stop. Almost detained. Peepo flower, Miss Vale. Peepo flower. No, I got blown up twice. She got blown up once. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh. Reduced pay? Done bad and done worse. Oh, I can't get no, paid No, I wouldn't anymore? call it down worse. I kicked those propane tanks 32 times and I only got hurt twice. Oh, shit. Why are you kicking them? Oh, I do it all the time. 150 transferred from your paycheck? What? I got $150 for... My boss calls me a psychopath. That is tragic. I mean, we had good conversations, so I don't mind, but bro. You gotta be kidding me. That is so little money. Time to become a hunter? I guess. How much money do you get from that? Is it good? Oh, yeah, chap. I wanted to read what you said about what you asked your Twitch account manager. Let me scroll up. Hold up. I want to see what you said. I took a month break also and asked my Twitch manager about it, and apparently it takes 90 days. Wait, chap, what takes 90 days? If you don't stream for 90 days? Nah, bro. That That's some bullshit. So if someone doesn't click the noti for 90 days, it auto toggles off. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. I did a test on an, on on two and a second and third. Uh, um, what do you call them? Oh my god, alt accounts. And I didn't get a notification. Just saying. Wow, I wonder if she went live and streamers said you should message Kachow. I would really wonder if anyone said that. That is so crazy. Oh my god. Wow.
Nah, I don't think so. Oh, uh, yeah, you really don't think nobody in here went in her chat and was just like, I wonder if Kachow's awake. Fucking headass. SBS Twitch viewers. You think I'm not? You think I'm dumb? I am, but I'm not that dumb. Man, I miss being here. Work's kept me busy, but your streams can be so cozy. Oh, what do you do for work, Laura? Can I ask? Or is, or is that too parasocial? All right, am I not? Are you not my friend? All right, Laura. I see how it is. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Who would do that? There's only 15 viewers here. True. You work in pet care? Oh my god. Yeah, I could see how that would be busy. Jesus Christ. One of my viewers recently was talking about how she had to have had to save some money to get her cat surgery, and I'm just like, bro. That is insane. Good luck with that. That sounds so hard. Being in charge of someone's like family member, basically. Like, holy fuck. Also, we're doing nine mile. In case I knew nobody noticed, Kachow's not going to do anything illegal to get back home, and his bike here was stolen. And so he is running to go get his bike from the rental location. One is on the creator side, and another one is on the viewer side. Channels that sent less than 15 notifications in the last 90 days will keep notifications and users who have chosen not to interact with your notification from the 90s users will have their notifications turned off. Those viewers will receive an email that allows them to turn back on the notification if they would like. That's what I was told. Chap, there's no way I believe that with 100% honesty. I don't think the account managers are lying, but I definitely don't think that's how the system works. And when I say I don't think, I'm saying I don't think in all caps and bold. Final suffer until March with that Amazon account that I cannot use Call of Duty on. Oh God. Oh, this is way faster. Technically, yes. Yeah, who knows? That's what I was told officially, though. And I, be I believe, like, I believe that the account manager that told you that, you know, um, was told that as well. Which is probably about as much as I should comment. <laughs> Call a cab, bro. It's too far. How do you know I don't have an RP idea in mind, and that's why I didn't call a cab? Huh? You think I'm dumb? You think I'm stupid? You think this isn't an intentional choice? Watch. Hi, Mr. Streamer. I'm back off my eight hours of beauty sleep. Huh. <laughs> I wonder what that's like. Number one, I'm making Kachow run more so that it makes sense in RP for him to run better during training shifts. So if he gets FTO today and say, have you worked on your physical fitness? I'll say, yes, I ran back from delivery. That's number one. Number two. Okay, sir. Three hitting. There's another thing that I'm trying to do here. Does he have to shit too? No, he runs like this because he's just scared. I gave him the scared animation. It runs much slower than all the other ones. But it's so that he can actually have some development. When he gets in chases now, he can run faster. Kachow is doing cardio training. That is 100% true. Here, though. Oh, I was running from the delivery store. 
my bike I took there was stolen. What's your name? Um, Ka. What was it? Ka. Kyle? Oh, just Ka. K-A. Ka. Just Ka. Mm-hmm. Alright. Wait, but, so you were at the delivery spot and you walked into here. Mm-hmm. Why'd you walk into here? Um, it just seemed like a nice neighborhood. It seemed like a nice neighborhood? I have no idea. Oh. Hello, sir. You just walked all the way from the delivery spot into here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, I was... He said he wanted a ride. I was trying to see if there was someone who could give me a ride to the Mother apartments. Motherfucker, you think you can fucking come and do your dodo shit? Meanwhile, what? by the way, you dodo fucks are the fucking worst drivers always knocking down our fucking lampposts and shit and driving oh, straight through the body I, I, like fucking maniacs and shit. And then you think you can come into the fucking Jamestown, fool? He asked for a pinche ride, vato? Que tu crees que somos, vato? You think we're taxis or some shit just because we've been wearing yellow and shit, fool? Is that what it is? Oh, oh no, no. I, I saw the signs and I read them. And what I, signs? What signs? The ones that say don't speed through Jamestown. Uh -huh. and, and so uh -huh. I go around the outside because I don't want to uh -huh. make anybody mad. That's a good boy. Now what the fuck do you think? You're just going to come in here and ask for rides and shit? Oh, I was going to pay if that's okay. I I'm just really tired. Sorry. You don't... What? You're tired? What? You, like, you, what? You've been robbing our... Turn the fuck around. You've been oh, robbing oh, our houses no, at no, night. No, no, no. Turn no, around no, right no, now. Sir. What makes you think you just go fucking walk in here and put your fucking hands up right now? Oh, I don't no. know who the fuck um, you are. Uh, are you a fed? Are you a DEA agent or some shit? What you fucking doing coming in through here? Fucking asking for rides and shit. M M fucking M his name. What is his name? What's your name? Ka. My name's Ka, sir. I thought it was Kyle, but it's just Ka. Ka. like Ka -ka. No, no, like K-A, sir. Sounds kind of like Ka -ka. Ka, -ka. Mm -hmm. Ka ka. You're a bird. No, no, my name is Oh, just... he's a uwu motherfucker. You be eating that uwu. Oh, shit. No, I don't you want You be eating that did, did they... Did, did Uwu send you? No, 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 man. Oh, sir, damn. I just wanted to work and then make some money. For, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You work at Uwu? No, I didn't. I don't work at Uwu. It is managed, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm having to steal from your pockets. Did you have any cash on you? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. How much did you have? Tell me an exact answer in two seconds or you'll uh, get your shit it back. It was in 1800. I don't know the exact number, sir. I'm sorry. 1800, well, then, uh, damn. Has two seconds. It's mine. Oh, oh, you walk around without now, much in your pockets. Um, He's ooh, spy. That's I, what it is. I had to, had to pull drop out money for my job. Drop I'm sorry. Fucking, drop that bento box right now and fucking stomp on it. Stomp the oh, fuck oh, okay, out of it. Okay, okay, I'll put get it down. Get the ooh, shit out of here. So man. sorry. Um, stomp it and then pick it up and then get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. Um, fucking ooh, um, spy. I knew that they were sending spies disguised as fucking sieves. Are you a sieve? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, That's no, not a stomp. Uh, um, Are you a sieve? Uh, no, I, I don't know what that means, sir. Because I'm a sieve oh, killer. Oh, oh, Get out of here. Oh, okay. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, okay, right now. So, Run so, out of James' house. So, never so, come so, back. So, so sorry. Get the fuck sorry. out of here. Right now. I said run. I said fucking run. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> How you doing? I'm uh, not good. <laughs> Blubber's wiener. <laughs> what do you call an exhausted bicycle? Too tired. <laughs> nice. Interestingly, I just looked at my Nodi analytics and it only reaches 18% of my followers. Nice. We like Twitch. We like Twitch. Money for food, blubbers. It was a rat for me. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Yeah, go straight. Oh, oh okay. See where I'm facing? Go that way. Oh, oh okay. I, I can go that mm -hmm. way. Go that way. The rat is great. I, I've never seen him do anything, so I don't know what he does. He would have been stabbed if he said he was getting money for. Did he take all of your money? Yep. It's all gone. He took the bandage, too.
Would be so funny if you pull him over in the future. Well, you never know what happens. <gasps> FTO slot! Let's go! Just kidding. It wasn't for me, it was for someone else. <laughs> someone else just got taken. <laughs> He's mainly a shitlord character with rat flavoring, hatred of cats, love of cheese. Nice. Kachow. Yo, what's up, Crystal? How's it going? How was your uh, 73 hour stream? Kachow just got borderline pocket wiped in the barrio. They took $1,800 off him and his med kit. And they punched him. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you are mad at how that interaction went for Kachow? Serious question. How many of you are like mad at the way that they interacted there? Like, you can be honest. You can say like, I'm Sag for him. Time to buy and not mad, not really, not mad. Nah, I just feel bad for Kachow. Glad you survived. I know, right? That was funny, to be honest. It was funny. So, I was hoping you'd get stabbed. Okay, damn. A lot of y'all against me. That's fine. Fuck you, too. <clears throat> so, here's the thing now, right? So, Kachow's pretty sad. Because he just lost $1,800. A lot of money for a cop. Um, he got beat up. And he got his... Uh, and he got his med kit taken from him. Which he needs now, because he is bleeding. <laughs> It was funny since Kachow don't know a lot about gang territories. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think is going to happen in the future when Kachow is faced with imprisoning someone from the Vagos? What do you think happens? Have you tried being a W cop? Dude, Penguin, I, I can't tell you how excited. So here's the thing. I, in I intentionally basically just went to go get like had to have a bad experience with the Vagos. So what do you think is going to happen when I get, when I have to process a Vagos member? What do you think happens? He went over there tired from running from the delivery store because he was, because his bike got stolen. And so he runs to the apartments or he runs over to the barrio asking if he can get a ride back to the apartments and that he'll pay them money. What do you think is going to happen? Now, Kachow's not a petty person. Oh, um, c can I get a ride, please? Oh, no! Oh, uh, so, so, sorry. Do they all just duck when I do this? <laughs> oh, <hell laughs> Everyone in their car just ducks. Look at this. <laughs> Anyways, so when Kachow like gave Dundee full time and full parole after making him wait for like 40 minutes in a cell, like part of, uh, part of what he's doing and, and, you know, part of what he's doing is based off of bad experience. And while Kachow may be a bitch and someone who would rather try to make things end amicably rather than be on bad terms. You know, like, what happens to the soft, quiet kid when you bully him enough, right? Like, eventually, he's going to snap. Or he's going to do something about it. And so, while I probably won't roleplay Kachow just snapping one day. But who knows? Maybe I will. Um, at the very least, now. If the Vagos come in. 
and Kachow's processing them. It would be a real shame if he processed them very slowly and then also went up to them and didn't let them negotiate for any time off and as a matter of fact learned the MDW charges really well and then just slapped on extra ones like say that reckless driving charge that Captain Crocodile Steve or whatever his name is told Kachow about in that meeting it'd be a real shame if that happened And so I think $1,800 is a very small price to pay for RP reasons. <laughs> Just my opinion, though. Anyways, Kachow also needs PT, so let's run back to the apartment. Kachow and JK will be happy. Yeah, it's actually an out-of-character thing. I hate the Vagos on, like, a personal level, like me, Christopher Yee. I've always hated Benny, the streamer, you know, the guy that plays Santi. Super fucking dumb. P to the E to the T T Y. <laughs> P to the E to the T T Y. How could the Vagos do this? <laughs> I was almost offended. Unlucky. All right, how much money did I make from that? All right, I have enough. I, I mean, I have more than enough money to do the next shift, but I was scared, but I'm okay. How funny would it be if our How funny would it be if Kachow had a crim girlfriend where if something bad happened to him she would take it in her own hands and just fucking blast. Oh shit. Oh, um hi, hi Miss Maggie. Are you okay? Oh, I, I I'm okay. Um they only hit me um a couple of times so I'm just, uh, I can just grab a band-aid. Are you sure? Um, yeah, it, it, it's okay. Uh, I'm fine. Do you know who it was? Um, it, there were some people in yellow. Um, it was, um... What did they take from you? Um, I think about $1,800 and a band-aid. And then they made me right. step on my lunchbox, but that's okay. Right, like, uh, you know where I was growing garlic the other day in the city? Mm hmm Why don't you come swing by for a bit? Oh, um, okay, um. Because I'm, I'm not at Maldini's today. I'm, I'm taking a, I'm growing garlic day. Oh, okay. Um, I will find the way over there right now. No problem, see you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. So much for sleeping. Accent? Yeah, I know, right? The Scottish accent. She her Scottish Scottish accent is uh really nice to listen to. Garlic RP? Pepe W. Pepe W, Pepe W, Pepe W, Pepe W, Pepe W. <laughs> she will go down there and hunt them down. I mean, she probably shouldn't go try to fight the Vagos. That might be a mistake. Yeah, this is another reason why Kachow needs a car.
I roughly know where this location is, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll give Kachow my spare mower. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, every everyone is super nice, right? Like you know, IDD, Miss Star, uh, Bingus, you. I'm trying super super hard to not role play with the family on this character. Not because I don't like anybody. I love everybody, but. Uh, you know, there's, there's gotta be some degree of separation, you know, I, I want to respect the RP more than to just be like, oh, 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 didn't that, oh, it's right there. Oh shit. Uptime. Too bad the mower is quick. <laughs> that mower is quick. Yeah, I don't doubt that you fucking fully upgraded it, you weirdo. <laughs> no way Christopher Yee admits on stream that he hates family. Yup, you got me. Hi. Hey, dude. Oh, uh, you're, you're Mr. Freddy? Sidwick, no, Miss, Mr. Sidwick. Timmy is me. I'm my boss. I, I, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry, sir. I, 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 I tried. You get A for effort. Uh, uh, how are you both doing? Doing good. I'm just chilling, getting drunk, cause it's my birthday, and I got cake, oh, huh? and I got lots of food, and I'm gonna be fucking feasting, and there's a party later. Oh, happy birthday, sir! I hope you have Thank a good really Thank you very time. much, Mr. Guy. Why are you pointing at me? Why are you pointing at me? Why are you pointing at? Me? I can't hear her. Good night, race powered. Have a good speedo. Yeah, 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 me. Yeah, 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 me. Yes. Mm, and your leg. Me and your leg, yeah. Oh, his leg. Look, you stole my shoes. Because somebody dared you to, right? Well, you told me to take your shoes. Yeah, because somebody told me to take a mask or a hat off, and I didn't have either. Awkward. <laughs> but now you can feel the good soil between your toes. Awkward. Now you can tell where the good garlic grows. Oh, th there's another good way to check. Yeah, you can taste the dirt. I, this is a really uh, good way to check. Like this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Now he's gone. I'll come back and say. Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The soil's really good. You were just over there and you vanished and died. <laughs> Snail boy. Snail boy. Oh. Oh, I, I, I'm right here. Bro, it's oh, such a power. Did you not get an FTO yet, Kai? Oh, I, um, I've, mm, I've been waiting for 14 hours, but I'll probably get one soon. You want to make? Do you want me to make a phone call? Oh no, no. That, I that, can make a phone call and get you sorted call. out real um, quick. No, that, that, that would be really awkward. It's okay. I appreciate it. With the, which department are you with? Oh, oh no no no, it's, it's okay, sir. I really uh, thank you. Um, Is it the BCSO? Um, they don't really exist anymore. Hold um, on, let me call. Let me call Pred. Uh, I mean, if I were called Pred, I would give him peace of my mind. It's not really. He didn't come when I gave him half price pizza, you know. Um, It's not really my, my shift, and, and, um, 
you know, it, it's okay. Um, you waited 14 which, which hours. Which department? Which department you with? Um, I, I, I guess it's called BCSO. Okay, I'm calling Brad right now. Tell me, come see me. Yeah, don't, this don't, is. Don't oh me. God, I don't know if I want this RP. Uh, I don't know if I want this RP. Uh oh. Stinky. Also, I'm tired. Also, I'd like to sleep for like six hours and try to get an FDO shift in a day. <sighs> Pred into the barrio again. Whoa. Oh seven car. Mm, he's not picking up, so he might have gone to bed. I mean, it's kind of late for him, anyways. Wouldn't Kyle Pred be awake right now? Roads. Oh God. Oh, I uh. Um, I I feel like Mr. Rhodes would be really upset. Mr. Rhodes is my favorite, my my best friend. Why would he be upset? Um, there's there's kind of a procedure to these things, and and you know, even if they wanted to take me, I wouldn't be able to go right now because someone else would have to go first. So. Yeah, but they owe me, so I got pull. Uh -oh. Well, you should use your pull, your pull for your birthday, sir. Now, I need to use my pull for my birthday. I actually He's don't want this either. RP because I might get fired. Uh, I'm uncomfortable with this mm, RP. I'm uncomfortable with this RP. No, please stop it. Sergeant Dukakis. Oh, Miss Daisy? Yeah. Oh, she, she's really nice. Yeah, yeah, we're good friends. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, maybe stop. Maybe don't do this. Maybe. Are you okay otherwise? Oh, uh, uh, I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I mean, I got uh, several people hired uh, for the police. Made sure the applications got put up top. Oh, I gotta make a phone call. My finger slipped. Oh my god, no. Oh, F8 no jutsu. Oh, um, c congratulations on your grade five. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I got a new strain of garlic, which you can't plant. Oh, why, why can't you plant it? I don't want to analyze it first. Oh. How, how because it's one that we it? haven't had. Uh, I have an analyzer back at my apartment. I just need to get a hold of a laptop or someday. Oh. It's fine. I can wait till later on. That's still really cool though. You're mm -hmm. like a garlic scientist. My next challenge is sunflowers and wheat. These ones that are growing behind us, I got them all today. Oh. Or this morning. Oh shit, there is a small chance I get an FTO now, actually. Small chance. Alright, you're getting promoted right now. Uh, uh, Done. Uh, uh, Who's coming down? I talked with the Lieutenant Williams. Uh, what was that, Clarence or something? Will Williams. Nexi? Yeah, Clarence. He called Nexi? No. Who's okay. that? 
Uh oh. I couldn't get a hold of anyone. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh. Apparently, no one's picking up, so they're all sleeping. Oh, they're probably pretty busy. Well, the, the thing is, most of them I know, uh, they work like a different shift. Like earlier today, or like late the other shift. But yeah, you know, I've talked with Rhodes and stuff, and he moved some of the applications from some people from the bottom of the list to the top of the list earlier. Oh. You, you, you have a lot of influence. I do, I do. I've been in the city for a very long time. I can't tell if he's cap or no cap. And I don't know who... People trust my judgment in judging people. Yes, yes, yes. So maybe we get a new strain. Oh. Hell yeah, maybe I should be a judge. I'm a good judge of character. Maybe I should be a judge. Mr. Crane seems like he has a hard time with his his work. That seems like it might be stressful. Hmm, yes. Good thing that my stress level is zero at all times. I've been through some shit, which means I really don't get stressed out anymore. Oh. Yeah. That, that's I was cool. in the military, I was a soldier. And I was down in Afghanistan fighting the wars here. Three tours, nine months each. So, you're, you're like immune to stress? Yeah, built up immunity towards it. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, military is pretty stressful, so like everything else seems like a walk in the park. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, th thank you for your service. Yeah, you know, I've fought, you know, to defend all the people that I love. Too glad I'm so, out. That shit seems hard as fuck. Harvested, they're all great for, and they give two and three seeds back per one clove of garlic. It, it That's is good. that a lot? This getting the seeds back is more important, but getting the right clove of garlic to give us two cloves per one seed, but still getting the seed return is really important. Mm. At the moment, it's like. You want a lot of seeds so that you could do mm -hmm. get the, the higher chance of getting new strains. And then great once you have high grades, you can focus on getting lots of cloves for each. Exponential growth, Pog. <sighs> Kachow, the farmer. I don't. Kachow is not going to use any of this information. Peepo simp. <gasps> oh. Oh. I might get an FTO right now. If I don't, it is what it is. There is a chance. There is a chance. Hell yeah. Great four. Don't blue ball us? We'll see. If I don't get one, like, in the next ten minutes, I'm going to go to sleep and wake up at 2.30 or 3. Those people definitely looking for a hostage. Those people are just going to have to wait. I'm busy. Well, they saw me here, so they, you know, they're not gonna fuck with us. Also, good morning, Allie. How are you? Wait, have I been live for almost that 15 one hours? I just gave grade 3 two seeds returned, but I also got a mutated strain. Ooh. Jesus. Bleeding <sighs> pickle burner. Ugh. 
what? what? You know, I pro honestly, I probably shouldn't take an FTO order. session right now. <laughs> oh no, I don't want my people to bleed and burn. All right, I'm taking an FTO session right now. Fuck it, we're gonna do it right now. I'm taking my FTO session. Oh, um, I, I just, um, someone from. Um, dispatch said that I could have a session right now, so I, um... Oh, yeah, I did Hell text yeah. a few people, so maybe they oh, got you. Timmy, do you want to give them a ride to PD? Oh, oh, it's okay. I, I can run it. It's not a big deal. No, 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 no. Batman? I'll give you a ride. Oh. oh. How do you even get here? Um, I, I ran. Oh. Oh. Just duck and cover. Oh. We're going through the war zone, bye in the war mobile. Oh, oh, um... Um, bye, bye Miss Maggie. Um... Oh. Please stay safe. Okay, um, I'll, I'll try. If Lexi bye. shows up, let her know, I'll be right back. Okay, well the bye. Oh, okay. Um, bye, stay safe, don't, don't... You stay safe. Good, good luck on your garlic. Hell yeah. Your car's very shiny. Oh yeah, this is the tall T Mobile. Let's see this way to MRPD. Or is it MRPD or where do you need to go? Uh um they, it's they got to you at MRPD. MRPD. Hell yeah. Hmm. Alright, I need to wake the fuck up. I have another four hours ahead of me, and then uh, I can I don't see any traffic lights there, so we can probably go. Um, I, I, I won't tell on you, sir. Hell yeah. Hi, Lexi. Uh, I, I'm just dropping someone off at MRPD, and uh, I'll ping you, uh, what's your, uh, number? 977, gotcha. I'll ping you in a minute. Okay, okay. Bye. let's focus. Let's focus. I can handle this. I can there you this. are, Mister uh, th th MRPD. So um, You're welcome, dude. You have a good shift. Um, you stay safe, sir. Um, don't don't get Hell ye. You're at more risk than me, I bet. All right, time to focus up. Focus up. Focus up. Focus up. I want to do the shift right, as I lag. Okay. I think this is my. Maybe you should transfer to the bay, Hardcastle. No, I'm LFPD, Silas, through and through, like you were. Father in two years and five months old. Play me in D2. Oh, isn't this the person that Luna got in a fight with in character yesterday? I went north because I follow Big T. I think the person outside who Luna got in a fight with yesterday, I think that's my FTO. That's funny. How do you guys know that's my FTO? How do you guys even know that? Like, I'm, I'm so genuinely curious. How do you guys know that? Like, actually. Keep my Okie doll on me at all times. We meta, we know the guy outside. Yeah, I gotta withdraw money for IFAX. Kinda shitty, it is what it is. Um. Oh, uh, um, uh, hello sir. Um, are, are you- I help you. Um, are, 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 are you my FTO, sir? What's your name and call sign, cadet? Um, uh, 513, Officer Kachow, sir. Kachow, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, in the BTF office. Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. All right, Mr. Chow. How many patrols have you been on? Um, I, I think about six or seven, sir. 
Oh, that's a lot. Okay. So you should be just about real. You know, you're, you're just about ready for solo then, huh? You got that confidence. You got the skills. You got the talent. Uh, um, I, 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 I don't, I hope so, sir. You hope so? Uh-oh. Oh, you're one of those cadets. Huh? You're one of those cadets. Let me tell you something, cadet. 90% of the job is, is, is your confidence, okay? And if you don't have confidence... You just fake confidence. Uh oh. Here, smoke the cigar. Uh, um, uh, uh, this will make you 25% more confident, looking at least. Uh, uh, okay. But when you look confident, you feel confident. Um, y y yes, sir. R right now, sir? Yes, of course, right now. Uh, um. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Tastes terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Tastes like shit, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Oh, come on. It's not that terrible. <laughs> it's, it's really hey, but you look cool. Right? <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, you got everything you need. No, sir. I was <laughs> mugged before I came here. Oh, my God. What did they take from you? Um, all of my money and my... <laughs> Med kits. Did they take any PD equipment? Oh, no, sir, I left. I leave it all here at work. <laughs> Good. That's plus six cadet points. Well, they, thank you, sir. Congratulations, cadet. All right, I'm gonna go look up your uh, your file. I want you to go grab what you think you need, and then meet me back here. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> A, cig a cigar and Cosmouth? What the fuck is this, bro? Hello? <laughs> what the, f the fuck is in... The fuck is this? My sub -alert was Hi, Ghostly Shiba. Thank you so much for the 17 months. Welcome back. Silas is funny. Adam's going to be fun. Uh, I've only s seen him on Luna's stream yesterday. He seemed like he was down for Conflict RP, so it seems like he's probably, you know... 150 oh government pay seems like he's uh you know probably pretty good role player so uh pd equipment i thought his role play was fine to be honest when i was watching luna stream yesterday like i understand that luna like luna like me does not like committing really hard to the uh controversial role play because it, it to an extent like it, it does weigh on you out of character and like at a certain point, it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I totally understand her and other people's opinions when they uh, feel that way. Um, I should probably buy one of each today. Um, but this guy was ready to commit and keep it going. And uh, I didn't see him push it too far. So I assume that he's a pretty good role player, you know? So I'm down for it. Uh, obviously, in character, he was frustrating for Luna to work with. And you know what? Maybe, you know, it'll be. Uh, maybe it'll be a good time. I, 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 I assume it will be. You know, I'm excited. Bro, Kari is scary when mad. Yeah, she is. She is. He's great. No, I, I bet he is. I bet he is. Crystal, uh, look, man, I'm, I'm going to say it. I really hope you're all right. Uh, I know that you might be assembled alternatively as the kids say but like fuck dude i can't help but like look at your stream and be like god i hope she's okay so look i'll just say it right now god i hope you're okay anyways that's that's all i'll say please please be okay not that i should be saying that because i'm staying up way later than i normally do as well you got to bring the copium tank. Where did I put it? Copium tank right here. Okay. Copium tank. All right, Mr. Chow. You think you have everything you need, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me see. Gun. Bigger gun. Good. <laughs> Electric gun. It's like, okay. <laughs> Electric gun. 
today's a good Ooh, fishing rod. Just in case we decide to go fishing later. Smart. Yes, sir. And a repair kit. Interesting. You know, most times I take a cadet, they forget the repair kit, but it's very handy to have one in case you get into an accident. Good job. Thank you, sir. Plus three cadet points. You're now at nine cadet points. Let's go. <laughs> if you lose your cadet points and go into the negatives, our patrol will be over, and I will recommend your termination. Okay, sir. All right. How are your foundations, cadet? You know you're using your case laws? Um, <laughs> I, I have a pretty decent idea of them, sir, if you want to ask me. I'm decent, huh? All right. What's Raven's regulation? You asked the one that I don't know, sir, and that's good on you. You're very Thank intelligent. Thank you. That's the most important one, the people versus Brett Maxwell, in case you, you know it by that name instead. Um, I believe Miss Everly asked me that one at the end of the shift, but I never got God, to I hate Claire. Oh, um, some unnamed um, FTO mentioned that one, and I didn't get to ask what it was. Wait, she asked you, and you said, I don't know, and instead of explaining it, she said, well, that's too bad, and then moved on? Uh, um, she didn't say it was too bad. We just didn't have time, I, I think. So, she doesn't think you're important enough for her time, then. Interesting. Let me write this down. Oh, um, um, I, I, I don't want to cause any drama, sir. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I will cause the drama myself. What a terrible FTO. Okay. The People vs. Brett Maxwell, better known as Raven's Regulation, is a case law for burglaries. There's essentially four prongs to this case law. If you can match all four prongs, you will get a guilty per se, which means they're pretty much guilty. They need to prove themselves innocent. Most of them can't because they're all guilty. The four prongs are... A dispatch call that a breaking and entering has taken place. Number two, a suspect is found on scene of that burglary. Three, there is blood on the front or back door of one of the houses in the area of the breaking and entering. And four, wait, did I say four? And the last one, the individual has scratches on their hands. Can I ask a question, sir? Yes. Um, some I, I do remember reading this one, and there was one thing that always confused me, which is um, for the guilty per se, if the suspect flees the scene, does this case law no longer apply as we are now going to be charging them with, say, reckless evading? All right, let's... Good question. Very good question. Let me explain this now. Just because you don't... If you say you don't have all four prongs, that does not mean you cannot push burglary. If you see someone and you only have a couple of prongs, and instead of cooperating, they flee from you, then you can articulate they're fleeing because they did something wrong, right? So if you show up on scene of a breaking and entering, and a guy on scene is just kind of hanging there, Maybe he's, you know, he's walking away from a house and you go, hey, I want to have a chat with you. And in response, they get in their vehicle and drive off. Then do you think you have enough to charge for burglary and evading? Yes, yes, sir. I would say yes. If he was innocent, he would not have randomly evaded you. Uh, there was a case where I arrested a Puck Deshi. The only thing I had on him was the dispatch call and he was on scene. I only had two prongs and I still pushed for burglary. And I won when he took it to court because he's a moron and he says dumb shit. Guilty people will say dumb shit. You just have to ask the right questions. Mm. It's OG. You coming in, OG? Uh, um. He's not coming in. Oh. He's not too happy that I transferred to Toretti's department. Um, well, I, I think if you did what's 
best for you, then, um, then that's the good thing. Oh, wow. Thank you, Kachow. That means a lot coming from a guy I met five minutes ago. Now, I notice you're also wearing the black and gold. Is that just because you think it looks cool or are you, uh, you're a fan of Pred and, and the Bay? Um, I believe Ms. Everly said she would redacted my genitalia if I were to work under Mr. Toretti, sir. Right. I mean, that alone is the big difference between uh, us and them. They're bullies and psychopaths and hypocrites and they're selfish. Uh, and we are the op- we are the anti of that. All right. I am not going to cut off your genitals. All right. But this decision should be yours to make and yours alone. Do not get swayed by bad FTOs who don't teach you. Follow your heart. All right. Good show. Yes, sir. Um, maybe we don't talk about my genitals. All right. No more talks of genitals. Yes. Noted. Thank you, sir. Okay, so now that you know the best case law, the most important one, uh, Ravens regulation. I mean, if I don't know if you do you know about the BTF, Kachow? Uh, no, sir. I, I've never God. been in this room. What before. are they teaching these cadets? The burglary task force. We are the top division in the Unified Police Department, and I am the director of that division. That's right. It's me, director of the BTF. Silas Grimmer. No wonder Crystal's here. She loves bur- like B and E's. Um, I, I take it. Um, thirty-one. I believe these are thirty-one alphas, sir. Is correct. Those are breaking and entering. I believe are, are those your favorite calls, sir. Those are my. They're not. Listen, they're not just my favorite calls. They're my speciality. Oh, yes. Do sir. you have one of those? You have a special, a strength, a specialization. Um. I, I really enjoy the gambling process behind running parallel, sir. Um, Oh, you like to chase people. um, I I don't like being primary, but I do love anticipating where someone will go. Interesting. Because I feel when they feel like they're gaining distance and an officer's waiting at the intersection that they're about to go, it gets in their head. I, I think that's fun. Interesting. Well, that's a good mindset. That is a very important job to have. Uh, are you a good driver? Would you say you're good at driving? Um, I, to be honest, when I first started, I thought I was really bad. And now I just think I'm okay. So I, I think that's... Do you have any sign-offs? Um, I, I believe Mr. Roy told me the sign-off I lacked was traffic stops. All right, we can work on those today. Uh, so you, you think you're confident enough to take, uh, take the wheel and do comms at the same time? I, I haven't done that yet, but I can most certainly try, sir. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you know, you won't know until you try. And then if you fail, you just try and try again. It's all about practice, cadet. If you fuck up, you should feel bad. But also remember, you're here to learn. All right. You're not here to be the best cadet. You're here to just improve yourself. That's what you want to do. You want to come out of this patrol feeling like you improved a little bit. You don't have to improve a lot. It'd be nice. But you want to at least improve. If you feel like you got worse, then there's an issue. Oh, Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's ask another case law question. What is Wyoming v. Hewton? Um, I believe this is the one where it allows us to search the vehicle um, instead of just the belong. Oh, wait, no, no, Wyoming is just unit. No, 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 that one's not the vehicle. That's the one where we're allowed to search the belongings within the vehicle that could um, hide something, such as a firearm or paraphernalia. Such good, a, good, so, good, good stuff. Like, like, a, like a purse or a box. There. I, I forgot the, the, the Carol versus United one was the one for the vehicle. That's correct. You don't need a warrant to search a vehicle, but what do you need? A probable cause, sir. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, cadet. Good job. All right. 
Uh, let's go over a couple of 10 codes. I don't really give a shit if you know these or not. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it matters. These come with time. If anyone says 10 codes are important, just say yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. But in your back of the head, say, no, they're not. I'll learn these eventually. They're not that big a deal. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. What's 10 for? Uh, that means uh, I understand. 10, 10. Um, fight in progress. Oh, 1013 Alpha. That's an officer down, and it's an emergency. Sorry. Okay, 1076. Uh, we're en route. All right, you're good. Oh. oh, okay. Those are the only ones you need to know. Why? Why specifically the 1010, sir? Ah, uh, I just throw. I just threw that in there. Oh. oh okay. All right. Uh. Okay, give me some things you can do to a suspect if you have reasonable suspicion that they've committed a crime. Um, I could detain them um, if they were in a vehicle. I could order them out of, a, out of the vehicle as long as I articulated it was for my safety as well as theirs. Um, I could also perform a Terry Frisk, um, at which point, uh, if, it, if it was an... Um, f shots fired called. I could ask them for a GSR test. Um, I believe if the Terry Frisk, uh, within the Terry Frisk, if I found a bulge, uh, at that point, I believe I would have probable cause to search them if it was for a shots fired call or a violent um, crime committed within the area. I'm sorry, could you, uh, could you repeat what you... So, if you frisk them, mm -hmm. and then go from there, what... I believe if I were to frisk them, and the call was for um, something such as a shots fired, and I felt a large bulge, I believe at that point I would have probable cause to search them. Interesting. Uh, not exactly, okay? If it's a shots fired call... If you, if you frisk them and they have a bulge, all right, you, you want to find out what that bulge is, okay? So once you find out what the bulge is, say it is a gun, all right? Well, at that point, does the gun come back to them? Does it not? Is this the gun that was used in the crime? You can, you can, you can get the gun and, make sh and, and you know, do some investigations on the gun, but at that point, I would say no. You do not have PC to search their entire person. Now, if the gun itself did not come back to them, then boom, there's your PC for an arrest. Mm. I see. Uh, there was, yeah, there was this instance. Uh, I like to use this example. It makes it makes Toretti look like a bit of a chump, but it's a good example. Big T was at a, I believe it was a brandishing call. He frisked someone. Uh, when he did so, he searched their he searched their entire uh, person as well. Saw they had drugs on them, arrested them for the drugs. That person was let go because Big T violated his rights. He did not have PC to search him. He had RS and could look at the gun or whatever the bulge was that he found. But at that point, he did not have PC to search. The whole case was thrown out, and Big T got very very sad. Oh, um, sir, can I ask a question? Yes, questions are good. So if I were to Terry Frisk them and find a bulge, could, um, sorry if I'm saying this weird, could I search them only for a gun? Or yes, a you said it perfectly. I, I see, okay. You, that you, has, you would probably... That confused me for the last seven sessions. I, I think I, I think I understand now. Because I'm the best FTO we got. So if in this situation, yes, what what I would do is, you know, I, get I will it tell them I'm frisking them. I get it now. I would, if, if I find a bulge, I'd ask, what is this bulge I'm feeling? They're 90% of the time, they're going to make a dick joke. Uh, if they do make the dick joke, just ignore them and say, all right, I'm going to be, you know, looking for what this bulge is. Anything that would create a bulge, take off their person. I get and it And then now. you can refrisk them. I, I, I understand. Try to find another bulge, do. for instance. Holy fuck. But yes, you, you got it on. That's exactly how you would do it. You would you would search only for the bulge, okay? Um, 
I think because of how the city works, I was very confused. And so now... Sometimes you got to ask these kinds of questions, even though it might make you, you know, I understand what you're trying to say. There, have You didn't do any uh, academy classes yet? No, sir. Yeah, we used to do a giant academy, which would explain a lot of this stuff. But uh, I don't know if they do it anymore. Uh, but let's go talk a little bit more about Terry Frisking. All right, because you need two prongs to do a Terry Frisk. What are those two prongs? Um, I believe one of them is a call in the area, and said person, I'm not sure how to articulate this, but the one thing I do understand is if I were to Terry Frist them, I would need to be able to articulate in a court of law why I specifically was Terry Frisking them. So I believe it would be if they were running from an area of shots fired or if they were within the area or if they were brandishing a weapon. Um, I'm not sure if a witness testimony from someone within the area describing them exactly would count, but something of that nature. But I don't know the prong specifically. Right, you got very detailed. You, you did get the answer is very long winded. Let me explain it in very short. This is all you need. Okay. One is RS. It's that simple. You have a reasonable suspicion on this suspect. Number two is that you also believed that they are currently armed and dangerous. All right? I so see. you're right. If you have a witness saying that guy has a gun, then yes, absolutely 100%. At that point, you have RS and the belief they are currently armed and dangerous, and you can frisk that person. Good. Good, 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 good. You know your uh, use of force matrix? Oh, that, that one I do understand. There's five uh, mm -hmm. uses of force. Um, one of them is presence. The second is verbal. The third is empty hand. Hell yeah. All right. Plus 50 cadet points. Oh, um, the, the fourth is less lethal. It's called less lethal because it can still kill, but it um, most likely will not. And then the fifth one is lethal. Good shit, good shit. Most cadets get really tripped up on the third one for some reason. They keep telling me it's open palm technique. Disgusting. Maybe they the like worst Naruto, answer. Sir. I don't know what they're talking about, but oh. it's empty hand control. Thank you for answering it correctly. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's do an example. I'm a piece of shit criminal scumbag. I have a baseball bat, and I'm coming at you hard. I'm about to swing for the fences. What level of force can you use? Um, level five, sir. Why is that? Because as officers, we're allowed to plus one whatever use of force the fleeing felon is using. All right. I got one more question about uh, foundations, and then we're going to get out there on patrol. Uh, so I asked you what can you do with... Uh, uh, when you have RS, and you got most of them right, you, you didn't get... There is one you were missing that's important is you can question the individual, okay? Oh. So it's, you know, detaining, questioning, frisking, and GSR. Those are the big ones, all right? Actually, before I ask this question, uh, if you only have RS on someone, do you still need to read them their rights if you're going to question them about a crime? Mm, I believe so, sir. That is correct. If you're going to question someone about a crime and you want to use their testimony, you know, so it's to make an arrest. In court, sir? Yes, and you want it to be admissible in court, then you must read them their rights. Can you do you know the rights? Can you read me my rights if I was to be um, detained? Sir, question? you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state. Do you understand your rights? Perfect. Can you, uh, can you handcuff someone if all you have is RS on them? Um, I believe so, sir, so long as I feel um, as if I am genuinely in threat of danger or any other member of society is. Correct. Very good. A lot of the times if you cuff someone for officer safety, the, the natural response of the suspect will be something along the lines of, what, why are you cuffing me? What did I do? Are, am, 
Why am I under arrest? The, I mean, it's hard to deal with these assholes. The best thing I could say is just you, you answer. You're not under arrest. This is just for <laughs> officer safety, okay? I or if they are under arrest, you tell them to shut the fuck up. I, I don't remember what the case law is, but um, there is one of them that does specifically state I need to state that or it is the, the case law is something along the lines of the statement carries weight where as long as I communicate is for their safety and the officers. Um, are you talking about Pennsylvania versus Mims? I, I believe so. Yeah, that is uh, when you order someone out of a car for police safety. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. I, I believe so. That one was okay. what I was thinking of. Uh, when you pull someone over for a traffic stop, are they detained at that point? Um, yeah, I believe so, sir. Also correct. All right. Some people don't understand that. If you pull someone over for a traffic stop, they're already det detained at that point. Okay. Lights and sirens, police presence, you are detained. If they drive off and they're like, what? I don't, I don't know. I was detained. They're idiots. They're morons. All right. Final question. Here it goes. So that I we talked about what you can do with RS, but when you finally build up the PC, what are some things you can do to the suspect with PC? Um, it, what's the context, sir? Um, it's it's I know it's kind of a it's kind of a vague question, but you will be asked this, and it the an how do I put this? All right, oh, fine, fuck it. Uh, you, you respond to a brandishing call. There's just one guy on scene. You cuff him up. He, he probably said something stupid like, why am I under arrest? Why are you cuffing me? Are you bored? This is kind of weird. And then, okay, so you cuff him up. You say, I am going to perform a Terry Frisk on you. We had a call of a brandishing call, and I want to make sure you're not the one. All right, you frisk him. You feel a bulge. You say, sir, what's this bulge? He says, oh, you uh, hey, uh, you know, hey, that's my penis. And, you know, you go, okay, good one, sir. That's the 50th time I've heard that today. I'm going to be looking for this bulge. You find a high-power uh, pistol, okay, which is just straight-up illegal. So that's he, you, are, you, have, you now have PC of criminal possession of a firearm, class 1, on this suspect. What can you do now with this suspect? Um, I, one thing for sure is that we can arrest them. Um... I believe, let's say they had a vehicle. Um, I believe at that point we could perform a protective sweep. And we would clear the vehicle first to make sure that there's no one inside it. Um, at which time, this is the part that's confusing to me. I'm not sure. I, I believe we can search the vehicle after we've cleared it of having anyone else inside or any threats okay you're, you're asking a lot of questions it's not that you're, you're overthinking although though though that is a very good question a lot of people don't understand that uh the the only thing i was really looking for is you can arrest him and now you can search him hmm. that's it the big two is arrest and search now about the vehicle and the protective sweep you're actually thinking about a different case law again of Mike Smore versus the LSPD. Uh, during felony stops, you can do a protective sweep uh, to make sure there's no one hiding in trunks and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to that, you can look to see if there's anyone in the trunk, but you cannot search the trunk at this point if you, all you're doing is a felony stop, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, until you get PC. And then if you have PC to search the car, yeah, you can, you can search. Now, the question is, you don't know if you can search a car. Well, it's all about the articulation. Why are you searching the car? He's arrested for criminal possession of a firearm class one. Do you, are you trying? Do you maybe think he has more guns in his car? Is that why you're searching? Hello, Bundy. Hey, Silas. The reason you're in the BTF office. No, this, is, this is my paperwork corner. Nobody ever uses this. Office. That's the Martell and Gunnarsson shit corner. What are you talking about? Wait, that. But they shit in that corner. Yeah, we clean it. Have you not noticed? Know. There's always shit over there. No, you guys do a really good job cleaning it. Is that why it always uh, smells lemony? Yeah, that's that's us. No, that's that's why I like doing paperwork there. I thought you guys would have gotten a place up at Sandy Shores by now. Well, I've let everyone know they have no obligation to follow me. So some people aren't joining Big T's department. So it gets, I don't know what I'm. I don't know what our office is going to be. It's kind of getting oh, weird. Yeah. No, I don't want to go back and forth. It's annoying. 
Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to do some paperwork in the shed and lemon corner. So. All right. Sorry. Uh, right. So, so are you, why are you searching the car is, is my question. What is your articulation? Do you, do you think you have PC to search his vehicle? Um, I believe so, sir, because if there was something like a shots fired call, I could articulate that he could have more um, weapons inside the vehicle, at which point we want to make oh. sure that, oh. Fine. I can still hear you. It's fine. Oh, um, at which point we want to make sure that we're clearing the vehicle of those weapons. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be fine. It's like... Oh, yeah, I just arrested this guy for criminal possession of a firearm. He was next to his car. I wanted to see if he had any more guns in his car. Uh, that would work. There, Another thing you can do, it's, you know, it's up to you if you want to do stuff like this. It's, you're kind of, it's you kind of bending our SOPs a bit. Do you know that you can inventory a car when you're about to impound it? Oh, yes, sir. Well, not that you can. You actually have to do it. Well, if you're arresting someone... All right. And and their car is now not in a, you know, their car isn't isn't legally parked. It's not in a good parking spot. Even if you don't have PC to search the car, if you're arresting the guy and the car is just there, you can call for an impound. And before you do so, you need to inventory the car. So right there, you have a reason to search the car, even if you don't think you have PC to, to get inside it. I, I see. There's ways to, yeah, there's, there's ways, you know, it oh. depends on how much you want to bend these SOPs of ours. Um, Mr. Crocodile Steve gave an example. One was um, he wanted us to use the charge reckless driving because it's a felony charge. And we could yep. hit them with that in case we wanted to search the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and search them and send them to prison. I mean, because the difference between negligent driving and reckless driving is uh, negligent driving is just a ticket, <clears throat> right? Reckless driving is, they're going to jail, and if you have PC for reckless driving, you're also searching them, their car. You can get a bunch more charges. Uh, just be careful because, you know. I understand what you the, mean, sir. The charge of reckless driving is very. Have you read the charge? It's very. It's weird. a gross. It's a gross lack of yeah. disregard for human life, sir. Right. So I mean. That could be interpreted different ways. Like, what, what would you consider to be reckless? Give me an example of a reckless driver. Um, well, for example, let's say they nearly struck or did, in fact, strike someone while driving on a curb. At that point, mm -hmm. I feel I could articulate the driver had no regard for human life as he nearly killed someone while going 90 or 100 miles per hour. Right. Okay. Not, good example. That's that's pretty good. Just remember, there's there's negligent driving and reckless driving, and a judge might see, you know, you really have to articulate these things to judges. These are they w might be like, well, shots, you know, bro. he wasn't going that fast, and it's just the curb. Like there's 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 that, and then there's like blatant reckless driving where they're speeding on a sidewalk, and they're like running over people or potentially running over people. It's I mean, speeding on a sidewalk is pretty reckless. So that's kind of my go-to. This guy is speeding on a sidewalk for some reason. Yeah, this guy is getting arrested. All right, you have a pretty good idea of all this stuff. Uh, let's get out there and patrol. I will say I read your, uh, your, your, your file. A lot of FTOs think you're pretty solid, but the biggest thing you need to work on is confidence. But I gave you a cigar, so I feel like we've already fixed that problem. Let's see how we do on the field, out in the field, okay? Yes, sir. Let's go. Dude, I think confidence is something they literally write down, and unless I, like, find a way to... Locked in. Unless I find a way to portray that. Exactly. Um, so, sir, I'm going to grab one more But yeah, I value camera. your opinion. I'll let you get back go to for your, it. you know, eight-page essay report. Are you driving um, usually? Oh, you need to jump. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I drove the last couple sessions. Unless I can, like, really figure out how to, uh, unless I can really figure out how to do that as playing Kachow, like, this is going to be really fucking hard. Um, let me take another IFAC, because I'm actually kind of fucked up. Like, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't. 
like other times I'd be like, oh yeah, I get it. This time, like, hello, I, Kachow. Oh, hi, hi, Miss Mina. You talk to anyone, huh? Um, um, huh? I, I'm, I'm, I'm being FTO'd by by Mr. S Silas. Talk to anyone, huh? Oh no, 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 ma'am, no, 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 oh, okay. no, 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 no. So what? Okay, okay. Where's your struggle at? Can you see where? Hope you have a good FTO session, Kachow. Oh, th th thank you, Miss Mina. Don't murder anyone. I, I, I won't, ma'am. And don't break the cars. Uh, y yes, ma'am. You don't want a $2,000 repair again, do you? Because it no, feels like it's less important than what's going on on the radio. And my FTOs will always say. Hi, Cadet Poo Poo. Oh, uh, uh, hello, okay. hello, Miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I should have pretty decent um, foundation. Like, miss, and sorry. Stuff, and if I don't. You shouldn't have said that to me. Oh, my God. Make sure you know your shit. Yeah, are you ready to go? Uh, yes, yes, sir. What's wrong, Gold? All right. Kachow, huh? Let me think of it. See, in the BTF, we like to give each other uh, cool nicknames, and I call them code names. But your your name already seems like one, so I have to think about this. Kachow. We'll see. We'll see. I'll think of something good. Oh, oh, okay. All right, you're going to be driving the old Ace Mobile. Oh, y yes, sir. Good Let me get out. my shotgun out of the boat. Is this called the boat? Oh, oh my God, don't tell me. It <laughs> literally, literally says the boat. All right, there she is, the old Ace Mobile. Oh, oh okay. It is. Take good care of her now. Is 490 your call sign, sir? Uh, I have to get it changed because I transferred, but for now we're gonna operate under 490, correct? Yes, sir. I'm gonna put my class two away. Perfect. Keys are uh, already in the ignition. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I need to turn on my radio. This shit bangs. Ignore that M4. That is, uh... God, uh, she's so dumb. I, I, I never saw it, sir. There it. Dispatch 513, working under 490. 10 Good. All right, I'm gonna be pissing at this bottle. Oh, um, okay, I'll, I'll keep the car steady. All right, keep it steady. Huh? 513, yeah. Sorry guys, uh, chat interaction usually goes down during an FTO session. Um, Great. I, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to... Uh, Dispatch all units, prepare for general broadcast. Dispatch all units, DOC has requested that you notify them in the event you are setting up any prisoners while the power is out so they can escort any prisoners. You're good, it's fairly standard. Cop stuff isn't trivial. Yeah, I'm trying to focus, because, like, if I can get Kachow signed off, like, then I can play this character more, and I can not have to fuck up my throat every time I want to play GTA RP. Oh, all right. Now I feel good. What oh. we got? Anything? Um, there are no actors at this time, sir. Or is dispatch just not doing their job? Nah, no, there's no actors. It is. What time? Ooh, all right. Night, perfect. Uh, is there something you're wanting to do, sir? Oh yes. It's nighttime. That means the oh. 31 alphas are gonna be popping off like crazy. Sh should I go to Vinewood, sir? Uh, we can start patrolling up uh, up near there. Sure. Good. That's some uh, that's some good proactive police work. That's what I like to see. This guy seems pretty funny, to be honest. I also want to try to do some traffic stops, because apparently, according to Roy, and that is my boy. All right. 
you do uh, you to work on some traffic stops. That's mm -hmm. fine by me. Excellent smash reference, sir. So uh, you tell me, cadet, what's uh, what's the first thing you uh, you tell the driver of someone you've pulled over for a traffic stop? Um, engine off, windows down. I, I stopped saying please because Mr. Part Spartan said it sounded like a oh, word. Oh, well, Miss. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say, oh, well, uh, don't listen to that guy. But if you ask me, there's no being kind is fine. It depends on who, you know. It actually goes a long way with some people, right? Like, hey, can you please do this? Oh, they ask nicely. Now, there are some people who are complete assholes, and they'll just ignore that kindness. But, hey, you go from there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh okay. Yes, sir. Some people, when you're mean to the Oh, this guy. Didn't clock him, but he looked like he was going fast. Maybe you did. Um, well, he ran that red light, so there you go. Let's pull this guy over. Sir, do I know I you? I can tell. Pardon? Do I know you, sir? Yeah, I was the judge the other day for the oh, trial with the pogs. I remember, sir. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> sir, do you, do you know why we pulled you over? Hmm. Hmm, I'm assuming it's the right on red without stopping. And you were going about 55 and the 35. Wait, Sorry. we haven't put that... Oh, no. What do you mean we haven't... There... Alright, let's get out of the car and talk to this guy. What do you mean, Silas? You tell me you're up in this, the speed limit. Yes. Not to 55? Are you a psychopath? There's I, think it's, I think it's going to 45 or 50. Okay, 45 I'll allow. Okay, but you were we'll going 55, that's, so that's still speeding. What is this being in? What is this going through? What do you mean? What do you mean? When is when is the change is being made? Oh, I don't, Awkward, I don't know. getting fired, pulled over a judge. Clear. I've never been promoted. You think you're above the law Political problems. <laughs> I've got so many speeding tickets. Listen, this badge says I'm LSPD, but I'm not. But here's my badge. Hmm, okay. Take it away, Kachow. Sir, engine off, windows down. You have no. He's out of the car. Out of the car. So we're gonna. <laughs> on, let, right, let me get back in. Let me, oh, okay. No, no, let me get back in. Let me get back in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Engines off. I don't have windows. Yeah. Okay. To sir. Me, sir. No. You ran through a red light without coming to a full stop, as well as you were speeding. 20 miles per hour with the speed limit. Alpha, Can I see your license and registration, please? Clear yes, for sure. Now, here is my driver's license. Okay, thank you, Mr. McNee. Stay right here one moment. Okay. Oh, you joined Peretti's department? Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta back up my boy. We, we barely got anyone, so. Who, who else is moved out of As far as I'm aware, it's just me, Big T, and I think Martel might just Dispatch update to 1031 well. Adam on the No, she drive went and formed her own division yesterday. Drive right. Oh. Jesus. 630 yeah. sent 6 to the 31 Alpha. Well, then I don't know. She might. I said she might. Clear, I don't okay. know if she's officially done anything yet, but... You, have, you can't wrangle the says. BTF guys into... Well... I could, but I, I told them they're not obligated to follow me, but some of them are doing it anyways. It's just not official yet, or they're at least thinking about it. Mr. McNeil, you have quite the history of failing to obey traffic devices as well as speed. I'm glad I do, Mr. McNeil, don't you change that law on us now. At this time, we're going to be issuing you a verbal warning. Please don't do it again, because I feel like they're... Why am I getting a verbal warning? Because, sir, you broke two laws in about five seconds, and you have a history of doing this. Exactly. You 
Lawrence the ticket. Oh no, I'm just confused by his logic. Give me a stern warning. Sir, With some this backbone. time we'll be giving you a stern warning. Stop. Frickin' well, doing oh. crime. Or next Jeez. time we're going to send you go. to jail. Well, yes, I mean, sir. I don't know if you could jail someone for running a red light, but... I will articulate this in the court of law to make it seem like you were recklessly driving. Do you know that's a felony crime, sir? Who's going to take your word yeah. over mine? I'll abuse my well, power. Hey, 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 all right. Yeah, hey, 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 yeah, yeah, that's a bit. <clears throat> I, I won't actually do that, sir, but... No, I, I know, I know. And please stop running red lights, sir. Okay, good job. Otherwise, we'd have to take this to court, and if it went to a bench trial, I feel like that would make this exceedingly awkward. Maybe. Ah, I'd be fine. Yeah. He's, he's admitted to doing everything. But... Yeah, I don't know why you're so... I admitted to it as soon as you pulled me over. But then you'd have to... You know, run back and forth between you know being the judge and then the defendant and then being uh, the judge. Again. Well, we could get another three. judge. There's more than one of us. Copium. <laughs> you know what? True. Anyways, have a good day, right, Mr. Gonna, uh, you too. Any... You no. can leave when we turn our lights off. Okay. I right, gotta get back in. That's Sorry. Let's go back up these you. Oh. oh, it's okay, sir. Dispatch receiving a second caller. Get in. About the Get in front. On Palomino Avenue. Uh, We're going to go back up those units on Didion. Um, so this. Oh, um. Is. Radio uh, do I not have keys anymore? 10 2. Did you ever really have keys? You should. Um. What is. Oh, okay. That was weird. There we go. Let's go. Now tell Dispatch that we're 76 to the 31 Alpha on Didion. 490-76 to the 31 Alpha on Didion. There's already units there, so they're going to be, you know, the primary officer. We're going to listen to what they want us to do. Sir, do you want me to have my lights off when we go to these and sneak up on them? Yes. Clear all units. Hold the channel for Didion Drive. I want to turn those headlights off too. There you go, nice and sneaky. Let them know that we're 23 and ask where we're needed. 490 is 23 to the 31 Alpha. Where would you like us? Hold there. There's one suspect inside currently. All right, let's get a little bit closer. Let's uh, guard that door. Sir, do you want me to get my camera out? Uh, no, if the suspect is in the house, we should be good on that end. Oh, yes, sir. Who's inside, C-Tot? Uh, what the fuck? Bro, I'm gonna die out here. Oh, okay, oh, clear. Yeah, also, That's Tiny, are you here? Oh, wait, Tiny right. raided. Tiny, I'm so sorry. I'm trying so hard to focus because I'm tired as fuck. Tiny, thank you so much good for the raid. Work. I hope you had a really that good stream. We did it. We, we saved the city, sir. Yes. One house at a time. Ow. Hey. Hey, fuck off. That was probably my fault. No, it was their fault. They see a bunch of cop cars in front of a house and they think, oh, let's... Let's just roll on in and run one over. Wait, Tiny, why aren't you VIP? Fuck that Next guy. Next time, just shoot him. Sorry. Black and gold, huh? See that? I... I'm not picking a final department until... That was a cat detective say instead of being I on no pixel? graduate into a, a cat detective? All right, okay. I stuck with who originally... Be careful what you say, me. Tiny. Cat girls on the internet freak me out. And I'm just, I don't really care, all right? Do what you want, follow your heart. I still sing the chocolate song, my Mexican family loves it. We were one department oh, in the um, end. Oh. What's up? This guy's asking for you. The burger alarm was going off. We had the oh no, is it Mac Block? I don't know, yeah, I think, I don't know who the guy is. Is it him? 
Man, what the please. Who are you trying to drive in these days? Oh, um, there's a uh, chat. Oh, I, I can, it I can, I can fix this. It's it. a game called Black, Black the Sad, based on a Spanish gunner. Uh, Interesting. Also, Bird Manuno, thank you so much. I appreciate the very sweet message. Um, I hope your family doesn't find the song to be weird. Some people just find the song weird, and I just, you know, I worry about that a lot. So, I'm glad. I don't know, Mac Block. You're not the... Is this you're not McConnell? The clever house robber. I'm a fuck I know how to disable alarm. An alarm, okay, dog? This guy. God, you shut the fuck up, dumb pussy. Hey, don't talk to C Todd like you. that. Fuck you. Oh my god. Give me away um, from these he... clouds, motherfucker. Hey. This is my this is my get out of jail free card. Right. Right you wanna here. you wanna check what he has on him before I take it? Yeah, dog. Over 170 oh, Rolexes, some chains, oh, and motherfucking uh, bank notes and uh, shit, the, dog. The mag block special. Hundreds yeah, of you blocks. goddamn right, motherfucker. Now give me away from these clowns. Listen, I told no 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 listen. I'm not I'm what not your arresting officer. Fuck? This is some bullshit, dog. What is happening? Why? Because I disabled the alarm, dog. Oh, and I like know 179 I, Rolexes from him. I know I for a fact it. I didn't prick my finger going inside the goddamn house on them lockpicks, motherfucker. Uh, I think we had a we, call in the area. We also we had the burglar alarm. We did have a call alarm. in the area of a burglar alarm. Yeah, yeah I was on uh, literally this, no this, way. this There's building no way, right dog. Here. I'm telling you straight up, that did oh, not happen. I wouldn't lie to you, Mac. Can I just you know say I'm this? The most I've noticed man. that dis oh God, disabling bro. the alarm inside okay. the house does not actually do anything. Uh, listen, the we're ping, here because there was a burglar alarm. The ping okay, is that's just okay, so I'm telling you, dog, easy. I disabled that shit. The ping is so easy. Not exa listen, it's not exactly a motherfucking uh, goddamn... Yeah, I'm not hacking the goddamn FIB building, motherfucker. It's, it's a goddamn, like, two-button system. It's not exactly difficult. I, I know how to fucking like disable the goddamn not comedy anymore. Motherfuckers. Just hurt feelings about it, Chris. Oh. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You say you do, but we are only here because there was a burglar alarm. Yeah, we literally had the oh, alarm so going off. Oh. So we you didn't have to do that, but thank you so much, so Big might, Frog. Um, he, thank he, you so much for the two one. He has so much fucking it. watches Ooh, on Stargaze, him. I was really so grabbed forty of them. I bet he has a heavy duty drill on him too. This ass. Pull him out. Pull him in the drum. Drum gives the exact location. Without it, it's a general area. The general Listen, area Meg, I'm is not your really arresting officer today. Still. You can't, I don't know if they're gonna want. They're not gonna make the deal the of uh, information area for a. Uh, is so you know, fucking okay. It's up to them, not me, Mac. You're on your own. Oh, that's some bullshit. We can talk. We can talk. But we'll, uh, Dude, tiny. Yeah, I've watched a cop yeah, stream, we'll and obviously, I fucking meted like a dirty little bitch. I didn't right. actually use it to like prevent stealing or prevent uh, proper. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I've never actually acted in a way where I was like, I know this is gonna happen. But I've seen it from a cop POV, and like from what I have seen, it is not yeah, that hard to find. Yeah, the drills to open up the It is not that hard houses. to find the fucking house, bro. It is not that hard. Yeah, that guy's not happy, huh? Um... Like, maybe... 4638, Alright, so what do you say now that the call is over and we're, we're going back on patrol? I, I want to say it would be... 490... Code four on that thirty one alpha. Well, if we were, I mean, that's that is if okay. So they're the ones that are kind of arresting the guy. So it's kind of up to, on them to say that stuff because we're not the primary officer. Would it just but be ten? At least say uh, we're ten eight. We're back in service. Four ninety ten eight. Also, Koapua, I see what you're trying to do there. Thank you so much for the nine months, you dumbass. <laughs> Very cute. All right, so um, in case you were curious, uh, the suspect was angry that we breached that house, and he, he didn't understand why. Oh, um, I, uh, now, I understand. I, I've dreamed of similar situations, sir. Well, yeah. So the so if we all we so the, here's the big difference that a lot of people don't understand. A 31 alpha is a breaking and entering, uh, but the call itself is just someone calling in because they you know maybe they saw or heard something. So we know that it's in the area. 
So the 31 Alpha is, there's someone in one of these houses in the area, but we don't know what house specifically. So we can't just go breaking down every door in the area. Uh, we have to have some kind of PC for a breach. However, in this case, the specific house's alarm went off, which is a 1057. If you have a 1057, you then know exactly which house it is, and then you can breach that house. Then so that is why that they did it they correctly. He thinks he disabled the alarm, but we got that the alarm did pop off. So, bro, I'm telling you, you, house robbers there's other are reasons broken. why you would breach a house. Uh, say there's blood on scene, you can do a welfare check. Bro, I'm telling uh, you, house you robbers are, are, are not sure are broken. Okay. They are broken. Uh, that's that only if happens. you're in the area of a 31 alpha. And uh, that shit happens. Like that's There's real. other, I mean, there's no like set, okay. Cause here's the thing, like breaching a house is pretty invasive, but there's no set rule for breaching or not. You can articulate specific reasons. Uh, the big one is just like, you have a witness who, who claims they saw someone break in uh blood on the front or back door that's a good reason uh i mean it's all about the articulation right. <laughs> officer discretion big deal if you want to fuck them over as a cop you can but you probably shouldn't so the reason uh, that he was asking for me is because I know him. I've arrested him many times for robbing houses, but he also, because he robs houses so many times, uh, he has a lot of intel to tell me. So what, like stuff to look out for and uh, what, what house robbers like to do to get away from police, stuff like that. So he exchanged information for me to go a little easy on. Him. That's why he wanted me. But I'm not gonna overrule the, I'm not gonna say, all right, you know, that's my boy. You know, free my boy. No, I'm not the primary officer. I'm not the arresting officer. I'm going to let them do what they want to do. You don't want to step on anybody's toes or hurt feelings. Right. I'll hurt feelings, but it's just it's just in bad taste to just take over the scene and be like, I'll handle this guy. I need some food. Oh, uh, Go to Rooster's Race. Do you like soup, do you sir? There's some soup in the... It's good soup. In the glove. Ooh, where'd you get this? Um, the pier actually has really good and cheap food, so you don't feel any differently when you eat it, but you feel more full, which is good. Good soup. Mm. You're right, I feel more full. All right, let's uh, let's see. Uh, there was a couple of calls that we missed because dispatch. I hate them. Uh, they don't do their jobs. Um, uh, what is your... Uh, have you ever responded to a 37 before? Um, i trying to remember which 10 code that is. A 1037 is a suspicious activity call. Oh. It's mainly for drug deals, but... Uh, I think a drug deal specifically is a 34. I rarely see them, but you'll get a lot of 37s. Mm. It's it's someone who sees a suspicious handoff of some kind. Mm -hmm. So, it's very hard to actually catch these guys because as soon as the handoff is made, they all just kind of fuck off. Mm. Uh, my strategy of catching these guys is get get uh, getting to the area of where it's happening. You kind of wait and see if there's anyone kind of recklessly driving away from the scene. Because if you're just if you just did a drug deal, most people are just kind of going to speed away from the area before any any cops show up. So so looking for these speeding vehicles is a very good way of uh, figuring out you know who is doing some shady shit. It's how I uh, got the biggest weed bust of our generation, uh, the Wayne Biggs uh, raid. That was all me. In case you uh, oh, if, if you I don't know if you've heard about. I wasn't an officer at that time. How much was it, sir? Oh, thousands and thousands and thousands, and thousands of grams. Oh. Yep. He lost his uh, business because of me. That seems like a lot. Wait, Wayne lost nope. his business? Uh, well, you know, I'm just the man. Yo, what the fuck? Can JK get a weed business? Yeah, there's some 37s in Sandy. We're very far away. I don't recommend... I think it's kind of a waste of time at that point. If we were in the area, I'd absolutely be down. 
But oh, I don't. When there are multiple 77s in that area, what does that mean, sir? Who said that? Dispatch? Um, I can look on my GPS, sir. Dispatch. Should I not say that? Oh, yeah, there's, there's a shit ton of 37s. Should we speed up there, sir? Purple, I don't even know what the fuck it is. Shitbox hatch. Uh, it's up to you. It's 100% up to you. Maybe there's no wrong answer there. Maybe they're being greedy. All right. Let uh let dispatch know we're on our way. Dispatch four ninety seventy six to the thirty seven calls and Sandy. Good calm. Um, sir, would it be okay if you marked it on the GPS? Okay. Uh. uh I'll mark the recent one. There you go. Thank you, sir. Uh, B, now the only thing I can warn you about up in Sandy is uh, people, there's a lot of bikers. So, how are you at chasing motorcycles? Um, I think about as good as someone can be, sir. All right. Well, then there you go. That's. We'll see. I mean, you know. Is this car fucked up? It's not turning. I, I haven't been patrolling Sandy uh, for a long time. I just recently transferred to the new department. Uh, but as soon as I transferred, every 37 I responded to in Sandy resulted in a 80 with a motorcycle. So I just want to warn you, there's a lot of them over here. I'm getting a call from Kite. Hey, what's up? Is it is it information we didn't already know? Yeah, what's up? Dispatch is clear, direct. Yes. All right. Yeah. And they go for like five grand. Okay, I had no, I, I didn't know about the pistols thing. That's very interesting, actually. Dispatch channel broadcast all um, SU members. Please switch to channel seven for a quick audio. Meeting. Yeah, I mean, a set, yeah. He, Magblog is a serial house robber. If he if he gives up important information, I go easy on him a lot of the time. This is your call, though. This isn't my arrest. It's your guys' arrest, so you you guys make the call. But he he does he works with cops. I will. That's all. I'll, I'll, he does work with them. So. EMS? Yeah. That's that's some solid intel, I agree. It's up to you, Kite. Alright, sounds good. Uh, I've been meaning to start up an investigation report, but I never got around to it. All right, sounds good. Clear it at 140. Dispatch only reports. All right. Activity like now I will say, uh, if we're if if the if the uh, objective here is to catch these people dealing drugs, uh, patrolling like this isn't a great idea because they'll just you know if they see our car they just they won't do anything. They'll just wait. So the best course of action is to probably hide it somewhere. You got any binoculars? Um. I have my camera. That'll work. Hey, if I'm circling, I'm gonna be a little bit uh, stop from your location in case. I mean, this is entirely happens. up to you how you want to do this. There, there's no real, there's no wrong way to stake out this area. There's, it's, you know, I, I personally wouldn't drive around it because if someone sees a car, a cop car, they're just not gonna, you know, it's, it's the use of force level, right? Presence will stop crime. So if they notice our presence, they're not going to do anything. Which actually is good. Preventing crime is solid. You just won't get any credit for preventing crime, which is kind of fucked up when you think about it. Oh. Well. Clear trade back with one issue at well, 152. You could hide the vehicle over here, sir. Not a bad idea. And then I could get my camera. Dante, what's your ETA? I don't think Silas has met Reed Dankleaf oh, that literally is hand handoffs in front of me. That's not a good answer for an ATA. 
<laughs> Damn, Dupont. Okay. Good, good. Jesus, turn that flash on. Oh, oh, wait, you're in the oh, bush. Oh, oh, what oh, the hell? I'm sorry, I'm oh sorry. Oh my god. Dude, is this where Amber is? No, we're staking out for 37s. You're giving away our position, Wolf. <laughs> I almost I'm fucking sorry. died. All right. That didn't happen. Let's just keep going. It really be your own, sir. Yeah, these ops. Oh, Amber, once you're 20, I kind of just rode into a bush and took out two officers. What? Um, we're off of the shore in Sandy. So how do you want to do this? If if there's a 37 call, but it's not in our it's not in our exact area, it's kind of close. Do you want to break off and go to it, or do you just want to focus on this area specifically for now? Um, well, with the officers that were nearby, the 37 calls, I feel like if I was a criminal, I would have left a while ago, and so they've either stopped doing it for now, or they've moved to an entirely new location. So this is probably right. a waste of time. Um, it's up to you. Mm, I will save uh, again. I have to preface this with: I haven't been patrolling Sandy for a long time, but thirty sevens are more are, are likely to pop up. I've seen in this area as well as East Joshua Road is a huge one for thirty sevens. Well. Can I ask you this, sir? Um, only reports of so, do you know what kind of drugs are sold here in San Diego? Uh, as far as I am aware, it's just like, I don't think there's a specific Special one. I do know that uh, meth is huge up here in Sandy. Uh, so if I had to guess, probably some meth. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was pretty much, you know, just a mix of everything. Hmm. Clear dispatch holding reports of 1031 Adams and Mirror Park District around the gas station. Clear at 0222. Uh, got another you see anything? Anyone, maybe? That breaking and entering call well, there was that one Dark motorcycle that just sped by, but other than that... Mm. Last scene headed southbound. Can you see a lot from these bushes? Or I can't... Um, I don't, I don't know with this, I don't have my camera. With the camera, you can. Would you like to see? Hold mine, sir. You can see a decent amount. No, no, you keep looking. I'll get out the old news camera. Man, the dispatcher's voice is amazing. Bro, it sounds like he's been smoking cigarettes since he was a fetus. I know a lot of people who stake out for these kind of 37s like to get an aerial view, but... Clear. Uh, 215 advisory ready for return. I just feel very comfortable in bushes, sir. Interesting. Because I'm a criminal. Ha ha. Cremain, cremain. So just so you know, a quick little lesson on 37 calls. Uh, the hand, uh, Getting the handoff is, is very, very important. If you could see and, and capture the handoff, they're essentially fucked. There are ways to tell that they were selling drugs without actually getting the handoff. Stop spying in the direction um, of my house. For instance, Meta. if you see they have a bunch of unmarked money, a lot of drugs. Cause uh, is trying to catch list, Daisy Dukakis changing, bro. A VPN. We're trying to get There's her a back lot of on the subreddit. Link together to articulate herping. that they were selling drugs. <laughs> There's a whole document about this that the SCU put together. I hate the SCU, but. You know, it's not a bad document to look over. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's anybody in the area. Mm -hmm. There has been some 
suspicious activity call since we've been here though in Pinewood. Yeah, I see that on Hangman. Not Cass lives in Sandy. It's, all, it's up to you. I'm not gonna tell you because you know. I'm not gonna tell you how to do your patrol. It's not like you're doing anything wrong. There's I mean, no wrong answer when it comes what, to like, what do oh, I should we go here? Should we stay here? Should we move on? Should we what break do I off? fucking say? I, I, I know that this is meth handoffs and that we should leave because if I was a crim and I saw all these officers, I'd fucking dip. Or do I sit here and by doing? And then after you do it, I'll kind of critique it a bit. Yeah. For instance, uh, the traffic stop. I'm curious. Uh, when you pulled them over, why didn't you call it in on radio? Um. I Three felt nine, very nine, disarmed seven. once I knew it was judgment. Like, like me. Okay, so we caught you up, guard. Regardless of the driver, it is, it is very... Okay, Three let's nine, say, nine, uh... Six, now that you have your bearings, uh, how, what would the comm sound like for pulling over Mr. Uh, Mac? Dispatch 0, 15, 490, six, 1038, it, Rooster's uh, Rest. The um... Mm -hmm. uh, I believe from what we, I've been told uh, from pre canine, previous canine, FDRs, it's, it's my choice on the vibe on if I want to call for 77s or not. Uh, Correct. You're missing one uh, important piece of that comm, though. Right. It's, I mean, it's hard to say because I don't know if you remember the I car am, he was uh, driving, but the car description. Six, oh, I would say it appears to be an off-road vehicle occupied two times with see-through doors. I don't know the vehicle right. make and model, and so that's fine. That's the best I don't know description any of I can fine. give. I just go, you know, color, and then you know, just briefly describe the vehicle. I would have said like I don't remember the color at all, but some kind of Jeep. It was some kind of Jeep. Mm -hmm. uh, the occupied two times. That's if you can see all the occupants, then you should include it. If you can't tell, don't even bother saying anything about the occupants. Mm -hmm. Don't say occupants unknown. Just don't say anything. Right. And then when you finish your traffic stop, you could just say 490 clear traffic to eight. Hmm. The, the only improvement I think I've made in traffic stops from Mr. Drader is I take out my MDW in the car now instead of right in front of them where I can get shot. He, uh, yes. Now, you know, if you have backup, it's not a huge so problem, but yeah, you should do it in the car. 1031 Adam call hmm. in Mirror Park around the gas oh, station. Oh, there's a 1031 Alpha, so do you want to go? Response. Let's get that. Let's go. I'll mark it. Start heading to the Yeah, Okay, so this is a 31 Alpha with no street uh, name attached to it, which which means that they're robbing a store, which is very hard to get to it. Yeah, passenger oh. with a male with uh, people. Unless I'm looking at the wrong call. Give me a second. Oh. I'm just letting you know right now, sir. I'm not calling in to dispatch because I don't want to interrupt the comms. And also, Perfect. Uh, I'm very... That's good radio. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Also, I'm very afraid to speak over Miss Vale because I also don't want my genitalia to be redacted. Who keeps redacting your genitalia? Or um, threatening to. Miss Vale and Mr. really scare me a lot, sir. You can't let them scare you, cadet. Alright? Uh, Although they are scary. You gotta be strong. Yes, sir. If you have something important you want to say, you break those cones. Now, 76 oh. to a call isn't that important. You can have me 311 that we're doing it. Mm -hmm. 